This is Twit. Last call of the day. Tom on the line from uh, Medi Hi, Medina. Hi, Tom. Hi. Uh, oh, I, I'm so lucky to get through today because I had a quick question. You made it. Yeah, I did. I'm 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 going to celebrate afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> I told you, Paul Screener, I wanted to ask a couple of uh, second quick question. Well, the first question is, I have a special needs daughter that I I'm the sole caretaker of. She's she's not totally blind, but she's legally blind. Okay, and and she listens to a lot. She has a she listens to a lot of music on a music player. Sure, and, but the problem is she's. She's not very, I don't know which, I, I, her nickname is Helen Wheels. I, I'll <laughs> She's not very careful with her stuff. Is that what you're saying? Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I want to get to a new, I don't know, a durable, but not real expensive M a player to player music. Yes. Got any suggestions? Sure. Now, does she listen on headphones? Yes, she does. And and where does she is, is does she get it streaming or does she have the music? Because that's a big difference. No, it's not streaming. I put I put music onto her the the device. Perfect. Get her a Sandisk clip. Sandisk, which is best known for making uh, storage, and I think probably they created this line because they had a lot of leftover SD cards or something. They make a player called the SanDisk Clip, $39, inexpensive. Wow. You can get it at Best Buy, you get it at Target. If she breaks it, no big, right? You get another one. Yeah. Uh, but they're pretty, she's going to have a hard time breaking it. Got nice big buttons, uh, easy to use. Oh. You, you can, uh, what's nice is it comes with storage, but it also has an SD card slot, a micro SD. So you can plug it into your computer, copy all our music, put 256 gigs on there if you want, uh, copy all our music over, pop it in, Easy peasy. And if she breaks it, just pop it out and put it in the next one. I think it, they're probably the least expensive music player out there. Wow. I mean, okay, just a quick on that. I'm going to get one of those, but how do you select songs to play on that? How does that it's work? got a screen. If you look on Amazon, okay. yeah, look on Amazon. Okay. Uh, they have a variety of different ones. They're all under $50. They come in colors. What's their favorite color? Um, should I say that she's colorblind? So it oh, matter. nuts. <laughs> well, get it in pink anyway. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> then you won't lose it. Um, you know, you have to charge it. You have to remember to charge it, but that would be true of okay. any. And it has a nice screen on it. makes it very easy to figure out what's going on. Wow. Sounds great. Yeah. 18-hour battery life. Wow. Can I ask you one quick question? Sure, about Tom. I haven't got iDrive yet. I confess you recommended that. But there was a guy's name you recommended that said you got to have. This is a guy, a tech, like a Steve Gibson guy that talks about backing up things. He's got. Yeah, he's my friend, I photographer Peter Krog, K R O G H. But what you want to go to is his website, which is DP, as in digital photography, best flow, as in workflow. Dot, uh, I think it's dot org. Yeah, dot org. It's from the Library of Congress. And okay. if you go there under best practices, uh, you'll see a thing on backup. And that's his three famous 321 backup. Everything you need to know about backup. The 321 backup. Yep. He's the guy who invented it. I'll put a link in the show notes for you. I can be one of the back, the three things? Yeah, sure. Okay. And you're a great dad. You're a, What's your daughter's name? Heather. Heather. Hi, Heather. You're going to get a nice well, present from Santa. Well, she's she's ta she's taking her nap while Dad does all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, have a great holiday. Leo Laporte, okay. the tech guy. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> no, I was just saying bye to the listeners. You don't have to say goodbye. <laughs> We got right up to the edge. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, those Sandus players are cheap. They're not. I mean, look, you know, they're not. You know, iPods, they're not iPhones, but they're inexpensive and they work and they sound great and they do the job.